to, to graph this problem, all right, the first thing I want to do is make sure I rewrite this in my standard form. Okay. So what I have, standard form for when x equals is going to be x equals a times y minus k squared plus h. All right? Now, so let's go and see. We can see our h, but do we have a k? We don't see one, right? Can I, is it OK if I rewrite it like this? Is y minus 0 the same thing as y? Yes. But I wrote it like this so you guys can see that, oh, now I can see my k is equal to 0, right? So that's going to be very helpful. So now when I want to find my vertex, I can just, I know now my vertex is going to be um, 1 comma 0. Axis of symmetry. Again, we know that this is a horizontal axis of symmetry, so it's going to be y equals. And remember, y equals our k value, right? So y equals 0. It, y equals your k value when you have a horizontal axis of symmetry. It equals your h value when you have a vertical. But then it'd be x equals would be the equation. Um, now let's look at the opening. So we look at the opening. And is my a greater than 0 or less than 0? Negative 1 third. So a is less than 0. So that means, since it's horizontal, if it's less than 0, does it open to the right or to the left? Yeah. Left. OK, so let's write a graph. So far, ladies and gentlemen, we know our vertex is at 1 comma 0. We know the graph opens to the left. And it has an axis of symmetry. Oh, that's not the vertex. That's 0, comma 1. So therefore, we have an axis of symmetry. Okay, And then we have at this point. All right? Cool? OK. So now what we need to do is if we have an opening, a is less than 0, opens left. Um, now what we simply need to do by working on this is um, now what I'd like to do is determine what is our focus, our directrix, and our lattice rectum. So our focus, you're right, but I'm preparing you for what you're going to have to need to know. So on your homework, you could simply sketch this out, right? Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm just going above and beyond because I'm trying to prepare you for knowing what your focus, your directrix, and your lattice rectum are going to be. So your focus, all right, is, remember, going to be h plus 1 over 4 times a comma k. Yes? And remember the directrix, since it's a horizontal line, or sorry, vertical line, it's going to be x equals h minus. 1 over 4 times a. So then we come into a problem. 1 over 4 times negative 1 third. So one thing that we can do, ladies and gentlemen, is well, we can multiply this across. This is 1 over a negative 4 thirds. To get a fraction off the bottom, I can multiply it by the reciprocal. So therefore, we have a negative 3 fourths. So my focus is going to be 1 plus negative 3 fourths, which would be 1 fourth comma 0. And my directrix is going to be 1 minus 3 fourths. Yes? 1 minus 3 fourths. Um, so, I'm so oh, no, no, I'm sorry. So it's, I'm sorry, 1 minus, yeah. 1, 1 minus. Hold on. How am I say this? This is a negative 3 fourths. So you have 1 minus a negative. There we go. 1 minus a negative 3 fourths, which would be 1 plus 3 fourths, right? right? Which would be 11 fourths. OK. Ah, that's not a point. It's x equals that. x equals 11 fourths. So let's go and plot our 
focus. Our focus is at 1 fourth, 0. So if this is at 1, 1 fourth is about right here. So our directrix is going to be 1 fourth, um, negative 3 fourths to the other side. So if here's 2, it would be about right there. It would cross. All right, and now you can just kind of sketch your graph in there. If you want to be able to identify some other points, what we can simply do is create a table of values again and plug them in. So if I wanted to find a point, maybe for y, let's find out the point of 3, because that seems pretty simple. So if I say, if I did an xy table, and I say, I want to figure out what does x equal and y equals 3. Um, so you plug 3 in. 3 squared is 9. 9 times negative 1 third is going to be negative 3, plus 1 is 2. So when y equals 3, negative 2. When y equals 3, 1, 2, 3, y equals negative 2, or x equals negative 2. And then you can use the axis symmetry to say, oh, that's where that point's going to be as well. And you can do that again further and further down. OK? Got that, Chapanka? Good. So that's what your graph is going to look like.